Well, as a parent, you want to stay on top of your kids' health and watch them closely to make sure that they stay healthy. But sometimes there can be a problem that you might not even notice. Scoliosis affects about 7 million Americans, and the first signs usually show up in adolescence. In today's Healthier Me, Holly Furfer has the details about this chronic condition and what you can do about it. Scoliosis is a lateral curvature in the spine. It's not a disease, but rather a condition in which the spine continues to curve abnormally over time. Although doctors don't know the exact cause of most cases, they believe there is a genetic component to the condition. People with severe curves of 40 degrees or more may need surgery to fuse the spine or add implants for support. With curves less than 15 degrees, often doctors will monitor the patient to be sure the curve is not getting worse. With moderate curves of the spine, a brace needs to be used to keep the curves from progressing. A lot of times we'll see them in a rigid brace, in a body cast, but they'll rotate inside and so the curve continues to get worse. We can pull a rib cage and derotate it. We can create a detorsion by pulling a shoulder back so we can pull a rib cage forward, a shoulder back. We can pull it down. We can shift the spine from right to left or left to right. There is no cure for scoliosis, but doctors say once the spine is finished growing, a brace is no longer needed. For today's Health Minute, I'm Holly Furfer. Now, if you'd like more information about scoliosis, you can go to the foundation's website, scoliosis.org. We do have a link to it at valleynewslive.com.